right guys, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and make things responsive, right? Because we kept designing for 1440 and we kind of know how it's gonna work for 1920 and 3840, but how is it really gonna look for mobile and tablet breakpoints, right? So let's start off with the tablet breakpoint. Now, if you've seen the tablet breakpoint, we've got a couple of ones and the smallest one is 768 pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one. How oh, this is gonna be 768 pixels. Pixel, right now obviously uh, let's first of all let's go ahead and make this black all right and again we will follow the grid because we do need the grid right so I'm gonna select this I'm gonna copy the grid and I'm gonna paste it over here and uh, what we're gonna do now is as you can see that we do have this distance of 72 pixels on the left right but what I'm going to do is for the tablet breakpoint I can actually change that value Right? And how does this all work? When we build it in Webflow, we will kind of understand, but you can actually change the values in a different breakpoint. So rather than making this 72, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go select this and uh, let's go call this website, um, you know, underscore 768px, right? I'm gonna go here to the settings and rather than having a margin of 72, I'm gonna reduce this to 40. Right? This is what we are going to do. And the gutter is still going to remain the same. Now, can you change the gutter? Yes, of course, but we're gonna keep the gutter the same because we don't want to make too many changes. Now, so I'm gonna start off by grabbing the, um, you know, the nav bar over here. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here. Now, obviously we want this Robin text to be at the beginning of 40 pixels, okay? And we want the rest, which is kind of, as you can see, it's gone outside the viewport. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly scale this so we can see it and I'm gonna go ahead and you know bring in all this inside and then set this back to 768 right and then I'm gonna select these and I'm gonna kind of bring them inside and move these over to until they are you know over here right and we've got this navbar frame hold on control and bring this in as well so now it's gonna look like this. And this is how our content is going to look on a tablet breakpoint. All right, let's go to the hero section. I'm gonna copy that and paste that over here. All right, again, we have this. So for the tablet, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this first of all, okay? Now we've got this. Now we said a width of 55 VW. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna say 768 into 55 by 100 all right and then we've got this text which i'm also going to bring in over here now as you can see here for the text right we had a margin of 40 all right i'm going to make sure that we have that same margin over here as well but what's going to happen is that when i'm going to shrink this down you can see we're going to make it look like this and uh, make sure that this is 40 pixels right and we might have to shrink this a little bit more all right and uh, let's actually get rid of the grid for now. And it's obviously going to be in the center, like so. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the font size of this. Now, obviously, can we use multiple font sizes for the same element? Of course you can. When you go to a different breakpoint, you have the ability to go ahead and customize. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this heading from 78 to 56, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and create this into our new one. And I'm gonna call this heading underscore 56 and I'm gonna say PX, and here I'm gonna say tablet, right? Because it's for the tablet breakpoint. And I'm gonna come over here and move this over here, so we have this, okay? And now I'm gonna kind of move this up, and I'm also gonna kind of move this into the next line, okay? And we wanna make sure that we have the same distance, which is out of 32. So I'm gonna select this, and uh, oops, select this, and make sure that this is 32 pixels, and, and then I'm gonna select these two and group them, and then kind of center this, right? So this is how it is kind of going to be. And I'm also gonna use the word based in Italy on another line. There we go. And uh, we're gonna move this down. And this, I'm gonna actually set this to be 50%. So 768 divided by two, all right? So I'm gonna make this like kind of half, okay? I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this also, the image width to be like 50 VW. I think that should be okay. And then, I'm gonna go and select these two elements. Now we have this gap, right? This distance, you know, this overlapping. So how much exactly is it? Now we can define that value. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, one, 
one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna move it like 64 pixels. And over here, we've got like 24 pixel. So I'm gonna change this from 24 to be 40. So I'm gonna kind of move 40 over here. And this also is going to be 40. So one, two, three, four, there we go. So the overlapping distance is 64. And here we've got this to be 40 and 40, right? That looks pretty good. Great. Now let's go for the next one where I've got uh, this. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know paste this over here. Now here's the thing again, right? Now this does not look really good. So the first thing I wanna do is this distance, which we have on the top and the bottom, it's 120. I'm gonna reduce this to 80 on both the, uh, on the tablet breakpoint. So I'm gonna select this, all right? And I'm gonna go select all these elements and even these uh, frames that we got and move this like 80 pixels to the top. Okay. And also over here, I'm going to hold control and move this until we get like, you know, 80 pixels. Actually, you know what? I'm going to scale this up. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to select these two and move these to the inside so that it touches like 40 pixels. Okay. And this also is going to be inside 40 pixels. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to bring it down. Now we're kind of changing the layout, but that is totally possible, right? And there's another one, which is over here. I'm going to grab that and bring this down over here. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure that, okay, we kind of, first of all, move this inside. Okay. And this distance is 38. I'm going to make this 40. Okay. And kind of move this back up like so. And you know, this is make sure that this is the same as before, which is around eight pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is like eight pixels. Okay. And uh, I kind of want to make sure that we maintain them in a three line grid. Okay. Because this is the smallest. All right. And, uh, you know, most of the tablets are kind of bigger than this. So there will be a good amount of space to play with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this and I'm kind of going to move this inside until I get them into four columns, right? So we, now we've got them in four columns and I'll select this text also and move it inside. I'm going to select this text and also move it inside like so, All right? Pretty cool. And all we have to do is just play around with the spacing. So I'm going to bring this down like so. And uh, what, what spacing are we using? We're using th what, 24, right? So I'm going to select this and set this to 24. And I'll do the same thing over here. Select this, bring this over here. Uh, this is 40 pixels from the top. So we're going to move this 40 pixels and then move that inside and bring this down, select this and uh, kind of wrap this over here and also wrap this as well. Now we can actually use a number which is 213, I believe. Um, let's just make sure that they are on the edges, right? So I can select this and set this to 213. I can select this also and set this to 213. Now, the other thing I wanna do is since here, we added this internal spacing of 48, I'm gonna add another number and I'm gonna make this 16 pixels, right? So I'm going to go and move this 10 pixels, one, two, three, four, five, six, the same thing over here. Uh, and that makes it 197 pixels. So I'm going to select all these three and make these 197 pixels. Okay. So we have a little bit of spacing. All right. So you can see, let's actually go ahead and ungroup this. So ungroup and select this and ungroup. And then I'm going to select all these three again and then right click and choose a frame selection. Okay, and I'm gonna move this outside so it touches the four column grid. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and select these three, right click and choose a frame selection. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this over like so. There we go. We've got the last one. Let's grab this, all right, and uh, move that over to the top. There we go and uh, make sure what we, this is 197. So make all these three also to be 197. Okay. And you can select this one and move this down until it's like 12 pixels. How much was the distance? Oh, uh, it was 20, it's 24, right? And you want to make sure that the grid also aligns perfectly. 
and this also is going to be 24 and this also is going to be like 24 right and uh, we want to make sure that this grid is also perfect and this actually needs to start over here this next grid right so kind of make sure that everything's perfect there we go and uh, now this frame looks weird so i'm going to right click i'm just going to go ahead and ungroup by pressing ctrl shift g or command shift g and then right click and then choose frame selection and then now we're going to go ahead and frame this up right so this is pretty much how we do so this is pretty much how we want for the tablet breakpoint now for this one let's copy this quickly and let's paste that over here okay now i'm going to go ahead and shrink this entire thing inside okay and now obviously we want this to be 50 percent by 50 percent so i'm going to do 786 divided by 2 which is 393 oh it looks like we've got two copies anyway so i'm going to select this uh 768 divided by 2 this is 384 i'm going to do the same thing 384 okay i'm going to kind of move this inside there we go now again we want this to be 80 pixels on the top and 80 pixels on the bottom so i'm going to move this like 80 pixels and uh, what is the height the height is going to remain 600 pixels all right but this inside uh, the content is going to be 40 pixels towards the left and this one is also going to be 40 pixels towards the left and uh, we kind of have to shrink these inside because these have to also be 40 pixels from the left and also 40 pixels on the left i'm going to bring this down a little bit make sure that we have the same spacing which is around 24 pixels i'm going to select this and make sure that this is also 24 pixels right this is how it's going to look and we've got finally the skill set section and for this one i'm going to do is i'm going to be i'm going to do this a little differently i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this over here and let's actually kind of remove this outside so we can you know see this one by one and i'm going to add a black color fill just to see so first one is of the skill set i'm going to grab that bring that over here obviously make sure that it is 40 pixels from the left and 80 pixels from the top and this i'm going to go ahead and actually stretch this out all right to the edge okay and i'm going to go ahead and make sure that this touches the either edges okay and if you look at the frame we can just go ahead and collapse that and then i'm going to select these four i'm going to kind of bring them inside over here or let's actually bring them one by one okay so first of all i'm going to make sure that this section oh one more thing uh, i totally forgot to do is that we're going to put all this into a section so i'm going to press right click and choose frame selection and uh, this is going to touch the other edges and it's going to move this so we've got like 80 pixels on the top and we've got 80 pixels over the bottom as well so i'm going to move this down like so and 80 pixels and kind of move this also down until we get 80 pixels there we go and this is going to be over here all right and uh, so i'm going to set this to 48 because that's kind of a number that we're using for spacing and we obviously want this to be divided by two right because We've got like 12 columns. We want each of them to take six columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Select all this and move this over here. And select all this and move this over here as well. And we still want to have that inner padding of 48. So I'm going to go and move this 48 pixels inside. As you can see, 48 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and just scale this up. Okay. So basically the height, the width of this is 284. I'm going to do the same thing to this as well. Uh, visual design all right make this 284 all right and uh, kind of bring this inside and make this big as well all right and actually kind of move this over here so it aligns on this grid and then move this inside perfect uh, let's go ahead and increase this all right and then we're going to select these two bring them over here uh, what was the width 284 so i'm going to select these two and say 284 all right let's select this 
and uh, kind of bring this over here and this also is going to be 48 pixels and select this and there you go and this inside and bring this down right so this is pretty much how we're going to do this for our tablets and then i'm going to select and then i'm going to select all this press right click and choose frame selection and then I'm going to go ahead and just scale this up like so and like so and then you can go ahead and delete this right so that's pretty much it of how we're going to do this for other breakpoints in the next video we're going to do this for mobile breakpoints so i'll see you guys in the next video